Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here. I want to touch on this kind of fancy stool tests uh, that providers are, are running and anywhere from internists to uh, um, you know, chiropractors or naturopaths, everybody is doing this. These are expensive tests where they're taking a stool specimen and they're determining Oh, you've got this much good bacteria, you got that much bad bacteria. Often they're giving you and selling you some probiotics and some other stuff they happen to have on the shelf, okay? And I just want you to know these tests aren't helpful, okay? They've been looking at this stuff for 15, maybe out to 20 years. Um, and, and for instance, I'll look at diabetics or non diabetics and compare a stool spe specimen down here and, you know, trying to divine any differences and academically I mean there's little to nothing clinically no no benefit whatsoever okay and uh, now when you have a normal balance of bacteria let's go over here the rectal specimen is actually different than a specimen you might get halfway up the colon okay It'll be different balances of things. And it's this rectal specimen doesn't tell you anything about what's going on in the small intestine. All right. The name of the game, if we're trying to get improvement in your POTS or your long COVID or autism, developmental delay, or you've got some inflammatory arthritis or something like that is the name of the game is the leaky gut problem that we have and I've got other videos about that okay that's where all the inflammation is coming from and these rectal tests rectal stool tests are not going to help us understand what's going on upstream in the small intestine okay save your money save your time okay don't take a supplement because of whatever they've determined down here it's not going to help you now there are some stool tests that are useful if you have a foreign infection, so you have maybe, we're worried, you know, maybe you got uh, in infected from bad food or bad well water. So there's particular little tests you can do, which are not this gene mapping test. Little tests you can do to determine if maybe you got, you have diarrhea and you have giardia. Okay. Um, there are tests that you can do that may help you determine if you have H. pylori, that's the cause of your gastritis, your inflamed stomach. Or if you have a fever and a lot of mucus, maybe blood in your stool that hadn't happened suddenly, especially if it happened after some antibiotics, there's some tests there um, to determine if you have Clostridium difficile enterocolitis. None of these are the gene mapping tests, okay? And all of these will be covered by your insurance. They can all be done at just the local hospital or lab course, something like that, okay? So, but if you're like, oh, we're going to look at the balance of the bacteria and, you know, and here's some probiotics or here's some voodoo, we're going to change all that. And by the way, it's all pretty expensive stuff. Um, it's nonsense. Save your money. Okay. The name of the game to get healthy is to reduce inflammation. And the vast majority of people, the main source of their inflammation is coming out of the leaky gut, either from bacterial overgrowth or now from the damage done by COVID. And there's videos on those you can can look at. All right. That's the end of the day. Uh, end of my talk today. Remember, hit the subscribe button. Um, and uh, so you hear more of these videos, you know, go to nimacheckprotocol.com. If you're interested in, you know, check out our olive oil. And we have a special now with free inulin with the uh, fish oil. Um, and uh, we've got vitalitysmartcable.com. That's our our neuromodulator that you could buy, our VNS type device. And uh, so we've got some things there that can help you along the way. Other than that, everybody take care and have a great day.